Let's talk about it. Lovely to see you. I want to get straight into it because there's never enough time. <laughs> when do you go to Australia? So I go next week yeah and then we do stargazing live so you've you know i think we've been doing it six years now but we usually do it from manchester yes. from jodrell bank which is wonderful it's almost become a tradition but the the slight problem within a live astronomy show from manchester in january is that <laughs> it often rains yeah and uh, we wanted to get the the show back to its really the, the basic idea which is to encourage people to look at the sky and do a live astronomy show and so this is going to be a completely different sky to what stargazers here would be used to seeing yeah the, the southern hemisphere points towards the center of the milky way galaxy so you can see the Milky Way much brighter than you can here. And you can, you, the centre of the galaxy, there's a black hole in there, which is four million times the mass of the sun at the centre of our galaxy. So we can see into that region from the southern sky and right. different constellations as well. So I think it'll be, it'll be interesting because we can do live astronomy. We're also at a massive observatory with huge telescopes. Yeah. You say this is pure astronomy. We're getting back to pure astronomy. What does that yeah. mean? Well, well, the idea that, that it's the, the easiest science, I think, for anyone to do, because we've all got access to the sky. And even if you don't have a telescope or, or binoculars, you can still look and you'll see the planets moving at different yeah. times of year. You can see the, the nearest galaxy just about from a dark sky here in Britain. It's called Andromeda. It's two million light years away. That's crazy, But it's, there's 400 it? billion stars in it, so, and you can see it. So, so it's just beginning to get back to that idea that you can do this science yeah. by just going out into your back garden and looking, and looking up. up. Well, even with a, with a good telescope or good binoculars, on, a, on a, a clear light, looking at the moon is pretty impressive. It's beautiful. If you've got binoculars, it opens up a, a whole new world, and they're not very expensive. And even small telescopes, you start to see the rings of Saturn yeah. on the clouds. I've Jupiter. got I've got one like that. I've got one yeah. like that at home. I just absolutely it's a, it's love one. No, no great surprise there. Um, 